So in this video I'm going to be reviewing Simpsons Rule and just showing you like how to do all the math behind it. I'm not really going to go into like how it looks graphically and how he figured it out even though it is very clever. How it's a lot better than the Remon sums. It's a lot more accurate than the Remon sums. It pretty much is an average of all the Remon sums but I won't really get into that today. I'm just going to show you an example problem of it. So. The formula for the Simpsons rule is S of n is equal to one third times delta x times y of zero plus four times y one plus two times y two plus y to the n. Now this little spot right here is important because pretty much after y of zero you're just going to go four times a function then two times a function four times a function two times a function. And it's just a repetitive theme and all the way until you get to the last point or the last n. So it's like two sides, you don't multiply anything, but the inside it goes 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. So we're going to use this example problem, and here's the graph. We're going to be calculating this right here. And it's on the interval 0 to 4, and n is equal to 4. So we're going to go s of 4 is equal to 1 third. So we're just going to do a side note right here. Delta x is equal to b minus a all over n, which is equal to 4 minus 0 all over 4, which equals 1. So this is 1 times square root of 0 plus 4 times the square root of 1 plus 2 times the square root of... Ah, uh, you know what? I will rewrite this. Just kind of get caught up right there. Make sure that looks good. So we're going to s of 4 is equal to 1 third times 1 times zero, square root of 0, because that's the function, plus 4 times the square root of 1, plus 2 times the square root of 2, plus 4 times the square root of 3 plus 4. So remember 4, 2, 4, and then just the end point, n, which is 4. So s of 4 is equal to 1 third times 4 times 4 plus 2 times the square root of 2 plus 4 times the square root of 3 plus 4. And we'll just add these 4's right now. We'll say 8 plus all those. So, we'll go 2 times the square root of 2, which I'm pretty sure is 2. No, it's just 2.8. So it's s of 4 is equal to 1 third times 8 plus 2.828 plus 4 times the square root of 3, which is 6.928. So s of 4 is equal to 1 third times plus 8 plus 2.828. So I got 17.756. S of 4 is equal to 17.756 all over 3. And I got 5.918. And that's about it. That should be your answer. Using Simpson's rule, we got 5.98 as the area under the curve between the x-axis and the curve and this curve is the square root of x this is just the x-axis, this is the y-axis and we found the area of this using Simpson's rule 